Hey there, so I'm going to continue with the uh, DVD reviews. Um, so this one here is Bad Company Live at Wembley. Um, so this here was like a, I think this might have been the recent one, I believe, 2010 this came out. Um, so, there it is there. So, this here said it was filmed in high definition at the London's Wembley Arena in April of 2010. Um, so this here had the original members on original members, um, which include Paul Rogers on lead vocals, Mick Ralphs on lead guitar, Simon and Simon Kirk on drums. Um, so here they had other members join them. Um, so it said uh, Howard L E E S E on guitars. Um, that guy there. When I first watched it, I thought, "Geez, that guy!" I thought, "Oh man, he looks familiar." Um, to find out he played lead guitar. I remember in the '80s. Um, I know he played lead guitar for um, Heart. Um, he played with them um, on guitar. I know for um, Heart. Um, and Lynn. S O R E N S E N on bass. Um, so this here, this says uh, delivered a set list featuring all the band's classic hits, live fan favorites, and some rarely heard gems um, to create the ultimate Bad Company live DVD. Um, so this says it came out, like I say, 2000. Um, 2010. So this here, it's a hundred and um, ten minutes long. Um, so they performed 16 songs. They performed quite a bit of songs. Um, so here it features um, band interviews. Uh, the interviews with the members of the band, um, which I found was quite interesting. Um, so they like they performed a lot of classics. Um, can't get enough, which is definitely a classic. Which came off their first album, um, Honey Child, another great one off uh, Run with the Pack. Um, might be one of my favorite albums by them. I say probably. Um, after that is Run with the Pack, Burning Sky, Young Blood, another song off Run with the Pack. Uh, Seagull, which came off their first album, um, Gone, 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 that, I'm not sure exactly what album that came off of, um, but another great song, Electric Land, um, Simple Man, another great song, um, Feel Like Making Love, Shooting Star, Rock and Roll Fantasy, Moving On, Ready for Love, which is a great song, Ready for Love. Amazing song um, that they, which was off their first album. Um, but that song there was originally off of um, Mark the Hoople, um, All the Young Dudes, that album in 72. Um, but I think Bad Company's version was, I found more, probably more popular, probably. Um, after that is Bad Company, and the very last is deal with the preacher um they perform like i said a lot of classics um on here um definitely worth checking out for sure this uh concert here um definitely for sure played a lot of great great tunes um and like i said how bad company you know when they first formed back in 73 like I said, it was like, I think I said this before when I did album views of this band. Um, so it was from like uh, Paul, you know, Simon, or Paul um, Rogers, Simon Kirk were in, in the band uh, Free. And when they left to form this band, Mick Ralphs, uh, Mick Ralphs was in the band, um, 
he was in the band Mock the Hoople. And that's how, yeah, and I'm trying to think what other, B.O.Z. Boz Burrell, who was in King Crimson, joined this band. That's how the three bands all came together, those three members from that band came together to form Bad Company in 73. And like I said, the first album, I found the first album was amazing, as well as the second and third, and you know, amazing, amazing. Um, show you the inside of it. Like I said, one of the guys from Heart um, played, played, um, played there, played there. Um, so that guy there in the acoustic, acoustic guitar played with Heart. He played with, did there, I forget what album was it, Heart, that album, he was on that album. And uh, quite a few other albums with them. Because um, <clears throat> when he first came out, I thought, man, he looks familiar. Um, let's see inside of it. Like I said, this year, definitely worth checking over. Anybody that's a fan of Bad Company, uh, I definitely recommend this concert here because it's an amazing, amazing concert, um, definitely for sure. Um, and like I said, at the end where I showed band interviews, talking about the members of the band, and I believe also, if I'm not mistaken, they might have interviewed some of the people at like... Um, that came to the concert, all the body cup couple fans um, talked about the band, you know, how they enjoyed the concert. Um, but yeah, it, it, amazing concert, um, definitely for sure. Go through the songs again, there's Can't Get Enough, Honey Child, Run With The Pack, Burning Sky, Young Blood. Seagull, Gone, 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 Electric Land, Simple Man, Feel Like Making Love, Shooting Star, Rock and Roll Fantasy, Moving On, Ready for Love, and like I said, well, Ready for Love, that's a great song. I think that became more popular from for Bad Company um, because, like I said, Mott the Hoople were the original ones that sang that um, off of their um, All the Young Dudes album um, in 72, um, which that version there was still, I, I really enjoyed that version as well. But I think this version from Bad Company, I think, became more successful, more popular, I think, even though the other one was really great. Um, after that was Bad Company, and then the very last is Deal with the Preacher. Like I said, amazing, 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 amazing concert. Um, what I'm going to do down below is put all down the album reviews that I've done by this band. Um, I've done, 
before album reviews i saw the albums and i do have of this band so i don't have their stuff in the eighty's so i think in the eighty's they had a different lead singer um and then i believe paul rogers left and they uh had he was in the band the firm um with um with uh with um trying to think of his name um jimmy page um in the eighties i believe um and then they had a new lead singer um which never heard their stuff from like the eighties like after he left um not really familiar with that stuff um but anyways let me know what you think uh hit a thumbs up all you people that did subscribe to my channel, greatly appreciate it. Uh, subscribe to 420, my other channel as well, 420 Express. Um, thank you very much. I'm going to be doing, like I said, going to be doing more DVD reviews. I have so many, like from rock to pop to hard rock, to documentaries, you name it. Um, hope you enjoyed it so far. So hit that thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, bye.